All right, so it looks like we're going to have a similar solids question here, similar solids. Uh, the diagram shows two similar containers, all right? So it tells you they're mathematically similar. So there's a scale ratio for length. Um, maybe one is twice as big or one and a half times as big or 2.5 times as big. Um, the height of the large container is 12. Calculate the height of the small container. So let's go ahead and just find the measurement we want. We want this measurement, okay? So that is the height of the smaller one. And again, we can go ahead and put this as a, an unknown, an x here if we like. We can go ahead and do the, the, the ratio method if you like. And so x is what we're trying to find. x as a ratio to 12 has to match with the 6 as a ratio to 8. And then when we solve this, this is 6 times 12 uh, divided by 8. And so that will be 9 centimetres. And you can also do the, the scale factor a different way. You can say that, well, actually, from here to here is times by 8 over 6. Um, or that's actually 4 over 3. Or that's approximately 1.333 recurring, right? So you could do it that way. Um, and then you could actually go from 12 and you could divide by the 1.333 recurring. So that's a valid method. Uh, the volume of the large container is 550 centimetres cubed. So I'm going to go and put that on now. This is 550. And we want to find the volume of the small one. So I'll call the volume of the small one Y. Okay. And now we can actually just do the same thing in terms of finding the missing value y. We can do it as a ratio, or you can do it with a scale factor. I'll do it as a ratio. Now, the volume ratios, y as a volume to 550, well, that equals the length scale factor as a ratio cubed. All right, so that's one way of doing it. Um, of course, we can do it a different way. Uh, we could say the 550 divided by 1.333333333 to the power of 3 will give us the y here. So you can do it that way as well. Um, if you do it um, the scale ratio way, then to finish it off, we've got uh, 6 eighths cubed. This can be simplified, of course, as a fraction times the 550. And if I just reach for my calculator, and I'll just do that quite quickly on my calculator. There we go. Open up a bracket. Um, put the fraction to the power of 3. And that is times by, oh, let me just, times by the 550. I press enter. And I will, I have that as 200. And 32.03 uh, centimetres cubed. Uh, 232 centimetres cubed to three sig figures. Good. All right, so that's all about scale factor of length cubed for the volume scale factor. But of course, it's a little bit tricky with the 1.3 recurring. If you only used 1.3 instead of the full accuracy, then you'd have been a little bit out on the answer down here, right? It'd have actually been quite a different answer. So if you have a scale factor of length, which is, you know, a recurring decimal, try and use as much of this when you actually try and do the scale factor um, cubed for the volume.